Ball control is an essential part of soccer, as it is required in many areas of the game, such as receiving passes or controlling loose ball. The instep of the foot, or the laces, can be used to control a dropping ball from above. This is an alternative to using the sole of the foot or the thigh. Now let's take a look at coaching this technique step by step. Step 1. Move your body behind the spot where the ball is going to land and keep your eyes firmly on the ball. Step 2. Watching the ball, bring the controlling foot out in front of your body with it pointed horizontally, toes extended and laces facing upwards. Only bring the foot up just above the ground, no higher than the shin, and make sure the foot is locked. Step 3. Place your foot under the ball and connect the end of the foot or the end of the laces with the bottom of the ball. As soon as the ball touches the foot, withdraw the foot backwards to cushion or and take the speed and momentum away from the ball and it will drop in front of your feet ready for the next play. Coach's tip. Make sure the speed of the cushion matches the speed that the ball is dropping towards you, i.e. fast dropping ball should be controlled with a fast cushion. Now let's take a look at how to demonstrate this skill to your young players. Now let's take a look at some common mistakes that young players make when performing this technique and solutions on how to fix them. Common mistake number one is that the player doesn't withdraw their foot on contact with the ball and the ball rolls away. Remind the player to withdraw the controlling foot backwards to cushion the impact of the ball and have it drop in front of the player. This could also be a sign that the ball hit the side of the controlling foot and not on top at the end of the laces. Remind players to keep their foot locked parallel to the ground and eyes firmly on the ball right throughout the whole process. Common mistake number two is that the player raises their controlling foot too high and they lose balance miscontrolling the ball. Always have the player only bring their controlling foot a few inches off the ground so they maintain good balance and good ball control. Another good pointer is to have their supporting leg bend for balance. Common mistake number three is that the ball spins back behind the body when controlling the ball. This occurs because the receiving foot is angled upwards with the toes pointing backwards into the body. When the ball connects with the foot this way, it curls back behind the body and makes it hard to control the ball. Remind players to extend the receiving foot so that it is parallel to the ground as the ball arrives and it is locked firmly, receiving the ball on the end of the laces. <laughs> 